The first thing we want to ask ourselves when we read anything is, what are they trying to get me to swallow? What do I need to believe in order to agree with them? Or, to put it another way, what claim are they making? Sometimes the claim will be in big, bold print. My product makes your baby smarter. Sometimes the claim will be hidden and require some thought. For instance, a fish oil company may tell you that fish oil has DHA in it and that DHA will make your baby smarter. The real claim here, though, is that the fish oil company's product will make your baby smarter. See what they did there? It can be a bit tricky. So, what are the most important things to remember when identifying a claim? First, you want to identify the most basic claim, the claim that underlies everything else they are saying. Second, you need to be really specific. When I say the most basic claim, I mean the claim that all other claims require in order to be useful. DHA makes your baby smarter is definitely a claim, but not one that we care about in isolation when the fish oil company tells us it. What we really care about, the reason why the DHA claim even matters, is the fish oil company's claim that their product makes your baby smarter. So when identifying claims, we should try to identify the most important or most interesting claim. You also need to be specific with your claims. If an article about research claims that drinking three cups of coffee helps you perform better in the gym, then it's not enough to say that drinking coffee just by itself helps you perform better in the gym. You should be as specific in reporting the claim as the claim itself is. So, if there is a number associated with the claim, don't be afraid to use that actual number. Finally, make sure that you don't plagiarize. It's okay to use text from the given materials, but make sure you put them in quotes. Or, better yet, try to paraphrase if you can. 